Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Dan Richard Fishing. Today I am super excited because today I'm going to be presenting to you guys, we're going to unbox one of the most revolutionary pieces of fishing equipment. That is the Garmin Panoptix Live Scope. This is the LVS32 bundle that also includes the GLS10 black box. This is what the bundle looks like. I'm super, super happy to finally show you guys this. So we're gonna unbox it, I'm gonna show you guys everything that's in here. A ton of you guys are always asking me, what's in the box, does it include this? Does it come with the transom mount? And all that good stuff. So listen guys, this is gonna show you everything. All I ask in return is please, just make sure you're subscribed, like the video if you do enjoy this, and of course hit the bell notification, all that good stuff for more content. It really helps me grow the channel, okay guys? So. Let's crack it open. Okay, so on the box we have Garmin part number 010-01864-00. This is the Panoptics Live Scope system, forward and down looking sonar system with mounting hardware. It includes the GLS 10 sonar black box and the Live Scope LVS32 transducer. Okay, so uh, this was actually recently, uh, well, it was at regular price during Black Friday, but there was a $200 rebate. I think it was good for all of November. So hopefully you guys got in on that and you got your $200 rebate. All right, let's open it. It's so beautiful. All right, so this is what we start off with. We've got the GLS10 right at the top. Got your serial numbers right there. So let's get the GLS10 out. There you go. All right, so that comes wrapped up like so. So we got the black box, we've got our connectors here. Um, and of course guys, if you're not sure about which equipment you need and which Panoptics transducers and all that stuff, check in the description below. I've got a link to my original Panoptics video that explains all the transducers, what they're compatible with on Echo Maps and all that good stuff, okay? Uh, so yeah, so there you go, GLS 10 black box right there. And then we've got a cover that comes out. All right, okay, we got all kinds of goodies here. Let's, uh, first off we have, what's this guy? Okay, this is the network connector cable. So this is what connects into the back of your unit right here, and it is like an RJ45 connector. On the back of all the Echo Maps and GPS Maps that can support this setup, it has an RJ45 connector, the networking connector on the back. And on this end, you connect the cable that goes from here all the way to the back of the GLS10. After that, you have the power cable, so let's take this out. Definitely a heavier gauge cable, so you've got, oh yeah, it's a really nice heavy gauge cable. Uh, and you've got your fuse right here, so that opens up. It is a seven and a half amp fuse, so that's there. And then you get this heavy duty cable. Uh, so let's see, it is uh, AWM, da, 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 80 degrees, 14 gauge, right? So it's 14 gauge cable. It is about, um, it's a little over six feet. So this is probably almost seven feet. All right, I'd say it's a seven foot cable from the tip of the connector right to the tips of the wire right here. So there you go. Power cable, all right. Okay, next up in here we've got, what could this be? Okay, this is the mounting hardware. Okay, so let's take that out. In the mounting hardware, you get the barrel clamp. So this is the clamp that goes around the barrel of your trolling motor. And then you have the little barrel mounting adapter. So basically this will feed through slots that are here and here. So that basically connects on the inside like so. And that's what goes against the barrel of the trolling motor. And here's where you're gonna connect your LVS32 transducer. So that's for barrel mounting. And then for the shaft mount, you've got similar. You've got these two plastic pieces right here. And those will connect around the shaft of your trolling motor like so. Then once again, your LVS32 connects right there. So that's what those are for. And then you get all the hardware. So you've got all the bolts here along with the Allen key and a couple of washers. So depending on how you're mounting it, you're gonna need those washers. So you've got the mounting for the barrel of the trolling motor as well as the shaft of the trolling motor. Let's see, then you've got here, this is everything you need for the transom mount. So basically what you do, is this piece here. This will mount up against your boat. So this goes against the transom of the boat. You screw it in like so. And then you get an additional piece like so. There you go. And that's what the LVS connects to. So this goes against your trolling, this goes against your transom and then that will go like so and be inside the water. And then your LVS will connect onto there. So very similar to, to how you would mount any transducer to your boat. So it does come with everything that you need. And all the bolts are included, washers, everything is in here. Then you have your instructions that are fairly detailed. There's your instruction booklet, 
Comes in a bunch of languages. And then finally in the bottom of the box, you've got the magic. The LDS32 transducer. Let's get that out of there. Oh, we also have the cable clips, I'll show you that. This is the most amazing piece of fishing equipment you can get and it comes in this really boring white box, which is kind of funny. Oh, wait, we got some screws. All right, put that over here. This is the extra piece of cable that I told you that would go from this wire here all the way to the black box. So that's this cable here. And then we have the transducer, which comes in this nice little phone case. Here we go. There is the transducer. Look at that, guys. That's cool. And this is giant cable plugs into the black box. So there you go. That's kind of everything that's in here. So let's take a couple of key measurements and get a closer look. So we're going to get the camera zoomed in on here and I'm going to show you each piece uh, and maybe we'll take some measurements for those of you that are wondering, you know, how big stuff is if you need to install it and that sort of thing. Okay. So let's get in here. Let's take a look. So first up, we've got the GLS 10, which you can see here. Um, and you've got here, this is where your transducer will plug in. This is where the network cable plugs in that goes to your unit, all right? So this goes to the LVS32. This will go to your chart plotter. And there's your power, okay? So that's what that looks like. And for anybody that's wondering, the unit is about six inches by, let's see, six inches by nine and a half. All right, so six inches by nine and a half is the size of this unit. Next up, we have the trolling motor mounting brackets. So if you have an electric steer and you need to barrel mount, you can't shaft mount on electric steer trolling motors. So you'll need to barrel mount. So this is the barrel mounting hardware. So again, this is the clip that we're talking about. You can see the slots here that this will feed through. So that'll just connect like so around the barrel. And then you've got the bolt right here that connects inside here through to the transducer. Then after that, you've got the shaft mount. So your shaft mount connects like so. All right, and then you've got your bolts for that. And you've got your washers, the Allen key that comes included, and the black mystery gasket. Then you also have the transom mount. So this is all the transom mounting hardware. So you've got the self-tapping screws here. That use this to mount to your transom. Then you have the bracket that connects like so and you've got all of these small pieces of hardware needed to connect the transducer to this piece and then you have all the hardware used to connect this bracket right here to the transom bracket there you go that's what that looks like the transom bracket itself is two and a half inches wide by two inches tall and then finally we have all of our cabling so we have the network cable that connects to this piece here that then connects into the back of your GPS unit and the other end of this connects into the GLS 10. Then you've got your power cable here and then we have the giant GLS 32 cable. Um, and let's just measure to see how big this cable is. Uh, it's about an inch, an inch and one eighth wide. Okay, so if you need to drill a hole for this, one inch and one eighth wide is what you're gonna need. Um, same thing for this, it's the exact same size here. And the power connectors, you know, and this is the same power connector that's used on all their units. Um, it's, looks like you'll need a hole of about seven eighths of an inch. Um, and the network wire cable is, let's measure that guy. Uh, it looks to be about five eighths, all right? So five eighths for that guy. And those are your cables. Now also guys, super, super important when it comes to securing your cables, there are a ton of pins in this. Okay. Look at, look at this connector guys. Look how many holes are here. So for each hole is a separate small little wire that's going in here. This wire is very fragile. Do not use, okay. I cannot stress this enough. Do not use zip ties when you are securing this. Okay. And if you do use zip ties, which is not recommended, you got to put them really loose. So they actually recommend you use electrical tape. All right. So you can get, use electrical tape. You can go, you can use Velcro wraps. And there's a lot of companies that actually make uh, plastic clips that clip onto the shaft of a trolling motor and things like that, that are made to secure this cable, but do not use anything super tight. You risk crushing the cable and damaging the cable, voiding your warranty. And then last but not least, you get the instructions. So you get full page instructions, like so. You've got these screws. This is for mounting the GLS 10. And you get a little quick cheat sheet paper here. And you also get the 
clip brackets that are used for securing uh, networking wires. So if you get a networking wire that doesn't have the screw down on it, uh, they give you extra ones. So this clips around the networking cable. You can actually see a photo of it right here. So if you get one of these networking cables and it doesn't already have the threaded bracket that goes around to tighten it down in place, that's what these are for. And you also get uh, these little gaskets that are included. And there you have it guys, that's it. That's everything that's in the box. I hope you found this video super helpful. And of course, as always guys, use the comment section below. Let me know if you've got any questions or any comments or any, you know, anything that you need regarding the system or any of my other videos. I'm more than happy to help answer any questions you've got. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys what this really awesome piece of equipment is from Summit Fishing Equipment. And we're gonna install this on a ice fishing setup. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do it, including this awesome toy. And of course, as always guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, right? Help me grow the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.